What is up you guys? My name is Tyler and today I want to do something a little different. So with PlayStation and everything being announced this weekend and yesterday The Last of Us 2 was we got a decent look at it. I want to give a theory. We're going to just play the trailer and I'm going to pause it and we're going to talk about it. But yeah guys that's pretty much it. I just want to I, I enjoy doing the theory videos. I've done one before. You guys seem to react to it pretty well. So let's uh, let's get into it. So I've watched this a couple times and I just kind of want to... I have a decent theory on what's going to happen, what's going on in the story, where we're at with Joel and Ellie, and... I want to kind of point certain things out. So, first off, this encampment that we're in, it is a Firefly encampment. This stop sign here has the Firefly logo on it. So, what I'm thinking is, obviously, okay, Ellie's in there, and we know she's killed them all, but we don't know why. So why would Ellie kill all the Fireflies when they were allies in the first one? To an extent, they were allies in the first one. So here we see her shaking. This was one This was one of the things that I wanted to point out. Why would she be shaking? So what I'm thinking is, you know, adrenaline rush, obviously. She just took out three or four dudes and she's shaking. But I looked past it a little further than that. Because when you actually see the bodies, it seems like a wrathful killing. Very, very bloody, gory. And it was all done with a machete. So, I'll point out the machete in a second. But her shaking, I want to point out as kind of like a rage. What if she's super mad because... That was her taking a deep breath to calm down. So, she's clearly pissed off about something. So, what I'm thinking is that she uh you actually seen some of the battle scars there there's a scratch on her arm i didn't notice that um so what i wanted to point out was that she uh could be super pissed off because joel did actually tell her the big secret that to get the cure they had to kill her so the reason I think this is because like I said she's super pissed about something we don't know what so it could be Joel told her and now there's a distance between them which is why we don't see Joel here and we see him come in almost as if he's told her and she's pushed him away and he keeps his distance now now the other thing is that there's another theory going around that Joel's actually dead and she's just seeing kind of his spirit or the thought of him lingering around. And they have said that Ellie is going to be the main playable character. So, I don't know. I don't I don't think they're going to start the game off with Joel being dead because that's that's a big thing. Like he was a big part of The Last of Us. Like, people got emotional over both of the characters. So it would just be weird to kill off, like, within the first 10 seconds of the... Or the first scene of the game, just kill him off. I don't think that's going to be the case for us. So, what I think is... He's told her... She's drawn a distance. Or, like, pushed him away. And... Now he just kind of lingers back behind, keeps a watchful eye over her, like a, like a father figure. But there's one thing that kind of supports but also goes against this theory, because there was a thought with the whole him being dead thing. His gun. So first off, if he's dead, why would he need a gun, right? Why would she see him with a gun? But then I was like, okay, so if he is dead, let's entertain the idea that he's dead. Okay, so if he is dead, why would he have a gun? What if the last thing she's seen was him and he killed himself? And then I was like, well, why would Joel kill himself? 
to me, Joel seems like the kind of guy that if he did actually get bit, he would take out, he would take care of it himself. He wouldn't push that upon someone else. He would do it when the time was right. So it's like, okay, well, maybe he is bitten or he did bite, get bitten and he killed himself. And that's how she sees him now with a gun. But I was like, no, that's ridiculous. So what if Joel is dead or not dead, but he has been bitten and then he decides, okay, you know what? I'm going to die soon. Maybe I should tell Ellie the truth. Tells Ellie the truth. And she's not going to kill him because she sees him as a father figure. So she pushes him away. So now Joel just kind of hangs back, keeps a watchful eye on her. Not only because she doesn't want to be around him, but also for her safety so he doesn't turn and attack her. But I don't think Joel's been bitten because Joel's very careful. He seemed very careful. Like he's done runs and stuff all the time they're usually very careful so i think joel's just hanging back you know keeping a watchful eye on the girl that he sees as a daughter keeps a gun on him just in case but you can see she he's walked over two bodies now there's blood everywhere blood against the wall Look like there's blood on the wall over there. Why is there blood on the wall over there? So here's the machete. So she took all these people out with a machete. There's no gun. You don't see a gun anywhere near around her. So she took three guys with a machete, picked up a guitar and just started singing a song. That's why I think, you know, she's super pissed. She just found out that to save everyone, she had to die. So maybe she didn't like that idea too much and just went off. Because like I said, I don't understand why she would want to kill the Fireflies when they were allies. Unless she found out that she had to die to save the world, they would have had to kill her. And she's pissed off about that. But I don't know, because that's also weird, kind of... To an extent, there could be something completely different going on. And then there's this. What are you doing, kiddo? I just noticed she exhaled when he talked, when he spoke. So it's just kind of, why, why would she do that? Unless Joel has been kind of trying to direct her away from this path of killing everyone. She even just shook her head at him. I'm gonna find. And I'm gonna kill. Every last one of them. So yeah, guys, that's my theory. I think Joel's told her, and that's why she's mad. That's why she's going around killing fireflies. Or there's also this thought. What if she found out a different way? Like, one way or another, I think she's found out at this point. But what if, okay, this whole time, because this is years after the first Last of Us. What if this whole time... They've been running from the fireflies and they've shown up and multiple times they've had to fight and they're looking for Joel after what he did. So what if she found out that way? Either way though, I think she's mad that she found out they would have had to kill her to save or to come up with a cure. And it could be even now that they're just going at any extent to kill her to get the cure because this has gone on for so long. Um, but yeah, guys, I don't know. It's, there's, the one thing I don't like about doing theories early is because there's not a lot to go on. So you have to judge by the body language of the characters. And that's one thing that's good about Naughty Dog is that they're really, they're really good about how they do their characters. They, uh. 
the body language is there for it, right? It makes sense. She, her handshaking, and everything else, it makes it makes perfect sense that she would be pissed off that they were gonna kill her for a cure. That Joel has lied to her for this long. So that's what I'm. That's my thoughts, though, guys. If you have different thoughts, let me know down in the comments what you think. Um, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys later.